So I'm going to show off some of the customizations that I made to my Retropod. I'm using a 64 gig card. I have the Phil's Doodles theme on here, so it uh, looks a little different. You can go in each menu. It's kind of a comic book theme in here with sound effects. So each system has its own artwork, so 32X, uh, Sega CD, Super NES, uh, I have a favorites thing. This theme, is the, uh, this theme supports favorites and games you last played. So these are the games that I've played recently. And uh, some favorites that I put in there. Just a handful. Oh, pressing the wrong stuff. Uh, so this is the Famicom... Famicom, sorry, disk system. I don't have any artwork for that. Uh, Game Gear I have on here, Game Boy Color. Sega Master System, which is their NES Mega Drive, which is Genesis. Uh, Neo Geo, which is I didn't ever have growing up, but it's super fun. Uh, NES PlayStation 1. And then back to RetroPie. So when you go to... Uh, Games, you know, you have your little blurb, uh, tells you what it's best played with, which in this case is a joystick type thing because this was like an arcade system. You can actually go. Uh, it's something familiar. Here we go. NES. It'll tell you, you know, the kind of controller that you had it with. If it has box art, which some of these didn't. It'd be in there. Let me see if I can find one that had box art. Because the NES ones didn't have it. So there's like a uh, thing called a scraper that you use to get the art for this. So some of them didn't do it. You can press select in here to jump to uh, a system. Now I have Famicom games in here too, which are the Japanese ones. I guess you can see you do have some descriptions and stuff in here, but this is just a bunch of random Japanese and uh, American stuff. PlayStation, I got 60 games, so there's you can see there are screen caps for a lot of these. I don't know why those NES ones aren't working, but the biggest thing I did was I took away the load-up text and I changed the video when you start it. So now when you restart it, you'll actually see a unique thing that I put on here once it restarts. Which, there it goes. So there's no loading text at all. And here comes the video. So there's a bunch of these. But you can get this just my favorite because it's 80s style and then after this it'll have the little emulation station logo and then it'll boot back up into the game or the system I should say so I think I'm putting different loading screens and all the ones I make now just because the one is super loud and you can see that's like a split second and then it goes in here. I can remove that too, but then it's just solid black and doesn't say anything and that makes you paranoid. So it goes back in here. So pretty easy. I did want to show off a keyboard that I'm that I got. I got a wireless keyboard for these, which I thought was cool. So this thing is uh because every once in a while I connect it to Wi-Fi or something you do in these. I got this for like 15 bucks on Amazon, so it's pretty cool. It uses a little Bluetooth dongle deal, and I have that Super Nintendo controller I use, so just wanted to share.